Model and pop retailers say ongoing supply chain issues mean fewer products, higher prices, and lots of frustration. It's all part of the continuing financial squeeze business owners and customers are dealing with. CBS 2's Tony Aiello checked in with three local store owners to see how they're coping. A grocery in New Rochelle. It's really been topsy turvy. A toy store in Greenwich. Huge delays in a lot from a lot of our vendors. A clothing store in Brooklyn. We're definitely feeling the crunch. Different businesses sharing the same problem, supply chain issues. As soon as we see it in the computer, it's available, I'll buy as, uh, as much as I can. And Retailers say there are many broken links in the supply chain. Ships stuck at sea, containers stuck in port. We don't have our coats. We don't have all our dresses. Brooklyn businesswoman Galit Weiner is waiting for thousands of pieces for her chain of 10 clothing stores. Once the containers get here, um, they're not being unloaded. And once they're unloaded, there's no truckers to bring them to us. The pandemic causing issues up and down the supply chain. For about a month, New Rochelle Farms couldn't get a particular popular brand of potato chips because the snack company had supply chain issues getting material to make the potato chip bags. Store shelves are pockmarked with empty space. Owner Jose Philippe feels lucky if deliveries arrive with 70% of what he ordered. The parts that are missing are a crucial item. It's paper goods, it's meat products, it's snack goods now for kids. Uh, it's really crucial items at this time. We have filled it in with other things. In Greenwich. Even our doll section is usually much more full than it is now. Toy store owner Heather Rounds is over ordering from her suppliers. In the hopes that I will get two-thirds of it so that I have product to sell. She says customers see supply chain issues everywhere, so Christmas is coming early. People don't want to chance it online, so they're coming in now and shopping early. When product is available, some retailers are buying as much as they can and then paying to keep it in storage. Wholesale prices are spiking. Merchants are trying to absorb what they can. Really trying to keep the cost, us, cost down modestly, but it's it's getting harder and harder. They're reluctantly uh, having to accept the fact that uh, prices are much higher. They don't see any relief on the horizon. I think realistically it's going to be another holiday season with this. So that's, that's what I'm anticipating. It used to be fun and it got so hard from start to finish. When does it get normal again is the question. It's a sign of challenging times for mom and pop retailers. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Wow, across the board. Right? Yeah, it's a great question. When does it get normal again? Yeah, it's time to go shopping, though. <laughs> <laughs> right? Countdown, it's, right? I know. It is, get definitely. To it.